President. Senator from Texas. Mr. President, uh, I rise in morning business to talk about uh, a situation in Texas, uh, the wildfires, the drought. Uh, I, you know, really, since we've been mostly home during the August recess, uh, I have seen the floods in the Midwest and on the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. I've seen the hurricane that hit New York and all along the East Coast. And at the same time, with all of the extra water in the East, we have had uh, as much as 60 days in parts of Texas with no rain whatsoever. And the drought is its killing livestock, it's killing land, it's, um, it's just a sad situation. And what has happened, of course, is from that, the wildfires have been able to go uh, uh, further than we've ever seen in Texas before. Just in the past seven days, the Texas Forest Service has responded to 176 fires, destroying nearly 130,000 acres. This year alone, over 2,000 fires have burned more than 2 million acres in Texas. We have high winds and drought conditions, which are a terrible combination in this instance. Yesterday, the Texas Forest Service responded to 20 new fires, which consumed nearly 1,500 more acres. One of the hardest hit areas is Bastrop County, which is near Austin. Uh, I was talking to uh, some of my constituents in Houston, which is not near Austin, um, and they were talking about seeing and smelling the smoke in Houston from these fires in Bastrop. An assessment has been completed as of now that says 785 homes were completely destroyed. Uh, 238 homes have been reported lost uh, as a result of other fires over the past three days. And the fires are so big that they are being photographed from space. Senator Cornyn uh, and I have asked the president to add the uh, recent wildfires from just this last week to his previous disaster declaration uh, from this spring, which did include wildfires. Uh, I just want the people of Texas to know that Senator Cornyn and I are working together to get all of the federal help that they need. I have been in contact with the uh, state representatives from the area, the mayors and the county judges, uh, to get the reports. And so far, they uh, feel that they have gotten the help that they've needed. But now, in the aftermath, uh, we will need to be part of any kind of disaster bill that goes through this uh, Senate uh, or uh, is declared by the president. So. Uh, it is my hope that we can work through that next week and uh, make sure that we include these most recent fires along with the flood disaster um, relief that uh, supposedly will come up on the floor in Congress next week. So uh, we're going to work on it and try to help these people. We can't replace the graduation pictures and the wedding pictures and the children's pictures that are lost. And those are the human things that uh, you see uh, in, in this type of a situation. But we can certainly help these people rebuild, and that's what we want to do. So, Mr. President, we're going to be on the job trying to help in every way that we can, knowing that, that there won't be a 100% replacement uh, because the, the photographs and the personal items and grandmother's wedding ring um, may not be recovered. Um, but we're going to do what we can, as Americans always do. Thank you, Mr. President, and I yield the floor. Mr. President.